21st century, we enjoy luxuries unimaginable to previous generations, yet we are more stressed than ever. This phenomenon, known as the paradox of choice, highlights how having more options and possessions can increase stress instead of alleviating it. Luxuries, while seemingly beneficial, often come with added decisions, responsibilities and costs, leading to decision fatigue and anxiety. For example, owning multiple high-end cars may seem like a luxury, but it often brings hidden burdens such as insurance costs, maintenance worries and depreciation concerns. Similarly, purchasing a large home introduces new stresses, cleaning, higher taxes and the pressure to maintain or upgrade it to meet social expectations. What initially feels like a significant step up in comfort quickly becomes the new normal, and the desire to reach the next level turns into an ongoing source of stress. This paradox stems from the endless cycle of adapting to new luxuries and the burden of preserving them. To break free, we must occasionally step back and embrace the discomforts we fear. Doing so helps us realize that many of our worries are unnecessary, freeing us from the relentless pursuit of more. Afraid of losing your car? Spend a week using public transport, walking or cycling to work? Fear judgment for not wearing fancy new clothes? Experiment for a week by putting on the simplest and oldest outfits you own. Think life without paid entertainment is unbearable. Skip your Netflix subscription for a month and explore free recreational activities like visiting local parks, libraries or community events. This exercise isn't about deprivation, it's about clarity. By confronting these fears, we often realize just how irrational they are. Ironically, the very luxuries we work so hard to maintain often enslave us. True freedom comes not from owning more, but from needing less. Stress also stems from dwelling on the past or fearing the future. It cannot exist when we focus on the present. Regret and worry distract us from what truly matters, addressing challenges as they arise. Instead of spiraling into endless what-if scenarios, we should tackle each problem step by step, knowing that outcomes are never fully within our control. Like a farmer who plants seeds and tends the field, we can do our best with what is within our power, but we cannot control the weather. Similarly, we must learn to accept what we cannot change, summon the courage to change what we can, and cultivate the wisdom to know the difference. Living this way allows us to break free from unnecessary stress and embrace peace of mind. To reduce anxiety and stress, we should regularly visualize ourselves overcoming the worst-case scenarios we fear. Most people exhaust their mental energy, dreading what might go wrong, suffering more in imagination than in reality. What if I lose my job? What if I fall into poverty? What if I get sick? What if I die? These questions are natural, but the key lies in reframing our perception of them. Instead of seeing challenges as threats, view them as opportunities for growth. Losing your job could be a chance to find a better path or develop new skills. Falling ill is not a punishment, but a universal reality of life. And yes, death is inevitable for every living being. Why let this universal truth cause you unnecessary distress? The weight of fearing death is one we place upon ourselves, a burden of our own making. Instead, let the finite nature of life propel you toward greatness. Knowing our days are numbered, we have the privilege to strive for more, to be kinder, wiser and better. Better husbands, better wives, better neighbours. The brevity of life is not a curse, but a call to action, urging us to live fully and love deeply while the clock still ticks. 